I'm Ken Spencer live here at the Kentucky Speedway as qualifying for the Quaker State 400 is currently underway. Folks, you see this cup right here? Got a bunch of nails in it. Tomorrow night, Louisville and Cincinnati will play for a whole keg of these things. If you're buying a lottery ticket, make sure that you're <laughs> touching Tom Jurich when you buy that lottery ticket. Do you feel like you have a, a horse that can contend and win a triple crown? All right, I'm gonna say something that may come as a little shocking. So just breathe. We'll get through it together. In his speech here at the Basketball Hall of Fame, Rick Pitino wanted to touch on the lessons that he'd learned through each one of his stops. Really like what Sarah Hammond's done for the cards. Six points, seven rebounds. Tonight was the night. The Derby Festival Basketball Classic really took center stage. Game night. U of L signees, Akoya Gao, Anton Gill channeling their inner Ali, getting ready for the big show. A gal showing a little fadeaway. Jay, it's true, the farm boy from Nebraska has range, then off the miss, it's IU signee Troy Williams flying in for the follow. A little more Williams right here, Dominic Hawkins, the miss. But here he is again, 20 for Williams. The new UK signee, Hawkins out of Madison Central, Kentucky Mr. Basketball, showing up with the duck right there, a little charger to charger action here. Derek Willis feeds Rusty Troutman. Bellerman bound for Troutman. Not to be outdone, Willis goes out in style at the buzzer. As for the game, the black team wins at 124 to 113. Troy Williams earning MVP honors for the black squad. In the slam dunk competition, it was all about UofL signee Anton Gill. The windmill throw down got him a score of 30. Gill not only won the competition, he also won the approval of that guy, Dr. Duncan Stein himself, Daryl Griffith. In the finals, a three-point shootout. Nobody had anything for UofL preferred walk-on signee Dylan Alvar, who put up a score of 15. And how about this? My man became such a hit, they wanted his shoes after the game. And he caved. On the football field, Louisville will indeed play Notre Dame in 2014. A date for the game hasn't been released. This came about as part of Notre Dame's deal with the ACC, that the Irish would play five games against ACC opponents in football every year. So the Cards will play Notre Dame in 2014 and probably again in 2017. UofL Athletics Director Tom Jurich had this to say today on the announcement. It will be a great challenge for our program as we transition into the ACC. I'm thrilled for our fans who will have the opportunity to see us play Notre Dame in 2014. UofL senior safety Akeem Smith has been a constant in the card secondary for the past four years. His skills are considerable, but Akeem's talents stretch far further than the football field. For 29, Akeem Smith. Four-time all-conference selection. 50 straight starts. 287 career tackles. Hakeem Smith has had a career at Louisville most would end. This has been a special part of my life. But this. I'm starting with the eye. Sitting behind a desk with a sketch pad in front of him is his true passion. Real stress reliever. Like, I've gone through so much in football and in school. You know, I just sit back and you know, just start drawing. You know, relaxes my mind, listen to music while I'm doing it, and it just eases everything. Hakeem first put pencil to paper in high school. It started out as doodling. But about eight months ago, he realized he had a real talent. Anybody can draw, it just takes patience. There are different ways to go about it. Hakeem prefers to look at a picture while he constructs really his artistic really creation. With a picture, I can see all the detail in it. Today, it's a simple photograph on his phone. I'm um, starting with the eye, um, because I can, for freehand, starting with the eye, I can scale the rest of the picture out. Looking at things, as far as detail-wise, it's like drawing people because they just stand out more. The more complex, the better. Details, you know, create a challenge for me. And if I'm able to catch the detail, then I know I, I'm getting better as artists. No, and I got uh sketch out, my outside of sketch, and I can start shading in and you know, bring the picture out. A good drawing takes him about eight to 12 hours. I can start around probably six o'clock in the afternoon, and I won't, you know, I won't stop until like, it could be three in the morning, four in the morning, I never know. It's all self-taught, no classes, no lessons, nothing. This is a natural talent. Uh, I never really looked into it. Um, I probably, I follow some artists, you know, on Instagram, just checking out some of their work, you know, and I get, you know, ideas from them. And inspiration can come anywhere at any time. 
that's how it is for uh, some of the actors and actress. It's like, yeah, I have to draw them. Take a look at his collection. You'll see daughters of teammates, singers, legendary movie figures. But his favorite piece, the character Walter White from the television series Breaking Bad. The portrait he did for us took just 28 minutes. And in the end, perfection. Well, that's pretty much it, you know, for a quick sketch. Well done, Akeem. Well done. Hakeem obviously wants to pursue a career in the NFL. His degree actually is in sports administration, but when his football playing days are over, he's seriously considering a career in the art world. Hakeem and the Cards are in Orlando right now preparing for this Saturday's Russell Athletic Bowl.